Strengthening Faith 27. In a narration found in Jah Mi, RT Mi Z, number 2451, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon, advised that a Muslim cannot become pious until they avoid something which is not harmful to their religion, out of caution that it will lead to something which is harmful. Piety can be summed up to mean fulfilling the commands of Allah, the Exalted, refraining from his prohibitions and facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. It includes fulfilling the rights of people, which involves treating others how one desires to be treated by people. An aspect of piety is to avoid things which are doubtful, not just unlawful. This is because doubtful things take a Muslim one step closer to the unlawful. The closer one is to the unlawful, the easier it is to fall into it. It is why a narration found in Jah Mi, RT Mi Z, number 1205, advises that the one who avoids unlawful and doubtful things and only uses lawful things will protect their religion and honor. If one observes those who have become misguided in society, in most cases, it occurred gradually, not in one sudden step. Meaning, the person first indulged in doubtful things before falling into the unlawful. This is the reason why Islam stresses the need to avoid unnecessary and vain things in one's life, as they can lead them to the unlawful. For example, vain and useless speech meaning, speech which derives no benefit nor is it a sin, often leads to evil speech, such as backbiting, lying and slander. If a person avoids the first step by not indulging in vain speech, they would avoid evil speech. This process can be applied to all things which are vain, unnecessary, and especially, doubtful. Therefore, a Muslim should strive to adopt piety as described earlier, a branch of which is to avoid vain and doubtful things out of fear they will lead to the unlawful. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.